five years ago. Five years ago. You had sent out, uh, I think you got some information, some sort of a list, and maybe it was on a break from uh, school and had just decided to send out some information about WWCR. And sure enough, the postmark was five years old. And again, these folks are from Portland, Pastor Kimberly Jelt and Word and Spirit Church. And uh, it's going to be 10.30 a.m. Central on 15.825. And you, you and I talked about that uh, the day that she opened that letter. And even though it was five years old, that was the most pressing thing on her agenda that day, it seemed, wasn't it? Yeah, uh, when I got a call from her, it was uh, went to voicemail because I wasn't around. And I thought, wow, now that's something. That was got to be about four or five years ago. Mm -hmm. And so I called her, you know, out of, out of uh, you know, for several reasons. And I uh, talked to her, and that's just like you said. Uh, she was cleaning up some stuff there, some old letters, hoping that she said that was a blessing right there because she had uh, said that things are kind of strange uh, where she is, and she felt like this was a chance for her to, uh, get the church out to the world. You know, I asked her to call you and gave her your name and number. I said, you know a whole lot more about some of these things, and she told you the same stuff. Very true. A lot going on in Portland. They're in the city center, <laughs> close to it. I'm not that familiar with Portland, but they've had a lot of trouble near the church and a lot of unsettling things to church goers, and this was to uh, the folks at that church uh, a, a wonderful opportunity to reach outside of court. Yeah, yeah. They got really it. She told me that uh, she felt like it was a, a blessing that she got it. Uh, I believe, if I remember correctly, she said she said it's a God thing. You know. Mm -hmm. I think so. And uh, uh, you talked to her in the same sort of deal, and he was able to find her a spot at 10:30 on 15825. That will reach out. That will do her some good. Absolutely. And you know what will really do some good is some response coming from the shortwave broadcast. Sure will. And I believe she'll get it on 15, 8, 25 at that time. It's always been a good time before. Uh, it, just, it just shows you, you know, five years, what a what a lucky break, you know, for them and for us. You know, I think it's going to turn out to be a good working relationship between us. It also shows you that you, you, you persist every day with trying to bring folks uh, information about shortwave and about WWCR because sometimes, uh, if not most times, there is no instant response. No, no, it, and although this was a bit long, it, it says it still works. Mm -hmm. I was going to say it and mention it, but that same database that I had, I had access to to pull off some of those names five years ago, uh, I checked and I could get access to it again, but it won't be over until the first quarter of 21. So I'm hoping in 21 uh, I'll be able to generate some more. Maybe we'll won't have to wait five years, you know? Maybe it's uh, more pressing at this time. Five years. Back in 2015, I'll bet it wasn't. Um, I bet it was. I know? bet we were looking at uh, how to encode, stream, apps, all that stuff, a whole lot more than how to reach out over shortwave radio. Okay. And now it seems that people, for the most part, broadcasters, uh, coming on to WWCR talk a lot more about how those technologies work together. Yeah, that's that's very true. Same. And I think that's a, another reason why you're getting a pickup in uh, broadcaster interest, uh, because they see that there is a correlation that those two can exist and you work them together. Well, Doc, I want to get to two more, and I don't want to have to rush too much, but we are going to...